In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Truly the Lord has borne our infirmities, and he has carried our sorrows. Today is the first Friday of the month, and we remember the sacred heart of Jesus, the love that God has for us, that he has never forgotten us, he has never abandoned us, rather his love, we trust in his tremendous love for us. And so let us begin by asking for mercy and forgiveness for the sins that we have committed. Lord Jesus, you reconcile us with one another and with the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, our refuge in every danger, to whom we turn in our distress, in faith we pray, look with compassion on the afflicted, grant eternal rest to the dead, comfort to mourners, healing to the sick, peace to the dying, strength to health care workers, wisdom to our leaders, and the courage to reach out to all in love so that together we may give glory to your holy name through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen our reading is taken from the book of lamentations my soul is deprived of peace. I have forgotten what happiness is. I tell myself my future is lost, all that I hope for from the Lord. The thought of my homeless poverty is wormwood and gall. Remembering it over and over leaves my soul downcast within me. But I will call this to mind as my reason to have hope. The favors of the Lord are not exhausted. His mercies are not spent. They are renewed each morning. So great is his faithfulness. My portion is the Lord, says my soul. Therefore, I will hope in him. Good is the Lord to one who waits for him. To the soul that seeks him, it is good to hope in silence for the saving help of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our psalm responses, Let us see your face, Lord, and we shall be saved. Let us see your face, Lord, and we shall be saved. O shepherd of Israel, hearken. From your throne upon the cherubim, shine forth. Rouse your power. Let us see your face, Lord, and we shall be saved. O Lord of hosts, how long will you burn with anger while your people pray? Have you fed them with the bread of tears and given them tears to drink in ample measure? Let us see your face, Lord, and we shall be saved. You have left us to be fought over by our neighbor, and our enemies mock us. Let us see your face, Lord, and we shall be saved. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. 
Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Blessed be the Father of compassion and God of all encouragement, who encourages us in our every affliction. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. One day, as evening drew on, Jesus said to his disciples, Let us cross to the other side. Leaving the crowd, they took Jesus with them in the boat just as he was, and other boats were with him. A violent squall came up, and waves were breaking over the boat, so that it was already filling up. Jesus was in the stern, asleep on a cushion. They woke Jesus and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? He woke up, rebuked the wind, and said to the sea, Quiet, be still. The wind ceased, and there was great calm. Then he asked them, Why are you terrified? Do you, have, do you not yet have faith? They were filled with great awe and said to one another, Who then is this whom even wind and sea obey? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. The Gospel of today was the Gospel used by Pope Francis during his Orbit Orbi. And he gave a very beautiful explanation and reflection from this gospel. So I would recommend you to, if you have the time, to look for it. It's all over the internet and it will be nice to reflect on it. Now, just to point something uh, out from the gospel today. When they came to Jesus, they addressed him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing do you not care that we are perishing probably at this time some of us also have that that same question does god care caring with us or is, is he a god who is just seated on his throne up in heaven and they don't care at all with what is happening to us today you see, we know that our God is an intervening God. We know that our God is a God who cares. He intervenes in our history. However, the problem is when life is good and well, we would not want God to have to do any to, to have anything to do with it. We put God aside. But when it is during this time of difficulty and crisis and chaos that we call on God. But again, with God's tremendous love for us, as shown in the sacred heart of Jesus, He assures us that He never abandons us, that He cares. We just have to put our faith in Him. Remember what happened to the Titanic. The Titanic, when it was built, it's, it, they say this is this ship. Even God cannot sink this ship. But we know in its maiden voyage, uh, when the, the rear part of the ship hit an iceberg, water started coming in. People were panicking. People were worried. Who can help us? Who can save us? That very evening, Thousands, thousands of people drowned because no one came to save them. And we remember in the gospel today, there was a small boat. They were crossing the lake. There was a strong wind. There was strong rain. The boat almost capsized. 
they were also panicking. They were asking, who can help us? Who can save us? They turned to the man at the back, Jesus Christ. And Christ saved them. So whenever we are in the crisis, Christ is the answer. So it's easy to remember. Whenever there is a crisis, Christ is the answer. It sounds the same. And so let us always turn to the Lord. Put our faith in Him. May these things that are happening around us today, these things that are happening in our lives today, bring forth stronger faith, stronger trust in the Lord. May we always remember His love for all of us. Instead of the usual prayers for intercession, we shall say the litany of supplication. This was prayed by the Pope together with millions of people when he prayed for the whole world. And so we, we pray this again, trusting in the mercy of God. We shall say, we adore you, O Lord. True God and true man, truly present in this holy sacrament, we adore, we adore you, you O Lord. Lord. Our Savior, God with us, faithful and rich in mercy. We adore you, you, O Lord. King and Lord of creation and history. We, we adore you, O Lord. Victor over the sin and death. We and adore you, you, O Lord. Friend of man, risen and living at the right hand of the Father. We, we adore, adore you, O Lord. Now we shall say, we believe you. We believe in you, O Lord. Only begotten Son, the Father, descended from heaven for our salvation. We, we believe in you, O Lord. Heavenly Doctor, who bends over our misery. We, we believe, believe in you, O Lord. Sacrificial Lamb, who offered yourself to redeem us from evil. We, we believe in you, O Lord. Good Shepherd, who gives life to the flock that you love. We believe in you, O Lord. Living bread and medicine of immortality, who gives us eternal life. We believe in you, O Lord. We shall say, free us, O Lord. From the power of Satan and the seductions of the world, free us, O Lord. From pride and the presumption of being able to do without you, free us, O Lord. From the deception of fear and anguish, Free, free us, O Lord. Lord. From unbelief and despair, free, free us, O Lord. Lord. From the hardness of heart and the in inability to love, free, free us, us, O Lord. Lord. We say, save us, O Lord. From all the evils that afflict humanity, save, save us, us, O Lord. From hunger, famine, and selfishness, save, save us, O Lord. From disease, epidemics, and fear of the other, save, save us, O Lord. From devastating madness, ruthless interest, and violence, save, save us, us, O Lord. From deception, misinformation, and manipulation of consciences, save, save us, us, O Lord. We shall say, console us, O Lord. Look at your church as she crosses the desert. Console, console us, O Lord. Lord. Look at humanity terrified of fear and anguish. Console save us, O Lord. Look at the sick and dying, oppressed by loneliness console us, us o lord. lord look at the doctors and the health workers exhausted by fatigue console, console us, o lord. look at the politicians and administrators who bear the weight of choices console, console us o lord we shall say give us your spirit o lord in the hour of trial and confusion give, give us, us your, your spirit, spirit o lord. in temptation and fragility Give, give us, us your spirit, spirit, O Lord. In the fight against evil and sin. Give us your spirit, O Lord. In the search for true good and true joy. Give us your spirit, O Lord. In the decision to remain in you and in your friendship. Give us your spirit, O Lord. 
we shall say, Open us to hope, O Lord. In sin, if sin oppresses us, open, open us to hope, hope, O Lord. If hatred closes our hearts, open, open us, us to hope, hope, O Lord. If pain visits us, open, open us, us to hope, hope, O Lord. If indifference anguishes us, open, open us, us to hope, hope, O Lord. If death annihilates us, Open, open us, us to hope, hope o Lord. Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was Lord, in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. Let us include in our prayers in this Mass the intentions offered for this Mass for the soul of John and Marian Fox. Blessed are Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the, the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, the gifts we offer in this time of peril. May they become for us, by your power, a source of healing and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty. Since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy. Holy. Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We, we proclaim your, your death, O Lord, and profess, profess your resurrection until, until you come, come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Salvatore, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from this pandemic and from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold, Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My dear brothers and sisters, here is Jesus Christ, who truly loves us and who is full of mercy. Though we, could not accept, though we could not receive him sacramentally this moment, we can open our hearts, open our lives to receive him spiritually. And so we pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there 
and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Come to me, all who labor and are burdened, and I will refresh you, says the Lord. Let us pray. O God, from whose hand we have <coughs> received the medicine of eternal life, grant that through this sacrament we may glory in the fullness of heavenly healing, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. O God, protector of all who hope in you, bless your people, keep them safe, defend them, prepare them, that free from sin and safe from the enemy, they may persevere always in your love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth and let us always trust in the mercy and goodness of God for all of us. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Have a nice day.